you don't have to be, right? I mean, obviously, we all know as senior leaders, there's a time and a place for things, but be where your soldiers are, right? He physically, present. literally was not present most of the time. And set the expectation that he's not gonna be there because Division S3 is making a plan for a move. Good. He's gonna be called away a lot. Good, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't plan on having me around because I'm gonna be gone. All right, thank you, sir. Well, the Army leader in a Who can guess what I'm going to ask next? <laughs> what is Sam Williams? See what happens when you watch it. What is intellect? Right? So what is it? What you know? What you know? Maybe a little common sense thrown in. Common sense. <coughs> Ethics, technique, action. Actions. Application. Technical knowledge. What affects the army leaders' intellect? Experience. Experience. Experiences. <coughs> a big one. Right. I see a lot of heads nodding and. What else? Well, it's it's leadership, leadership over his career. Say again. Leadership over him through his career. Okay. Because you learn from the leaders. You learn from your leaders. So as you're growing <coughs> in your military career, you're Seeking learning from self improvement. <coughs> Seeking self improvement? Knowledge base. Knowledge base? Sorry, God. So an army, an army leader's intellect draws on the mental tendencies and resources that, that shape conceptual abilities applies to one's duties and responsibilities. So the mental tendencies is what Dr. has to say. Mental agility, sound judgment, innovation, interpersonal tact, expertise. Adaptable. Wisdom. Wisdom. <coughs> what is wisdom? Knowledge of past experiences that you can apply to current situations to get you through that. Pictures though off of uh, Bing of the you know. Sort of mentions with the interpersonal hack. Yeah. Um, for those of you that are signed up, or if you're wanting to sign up for the mentorship program with the NCOs, uh, Mass Art Showbloom puts out a lot of information, and he's been recently sending out information about emotional intellect and how we interact with each other and just you know. You can yell at some people and they respond very well, and you yell at the other group of people and they just shut down. And having that understanding of your soldiers, that applying certain motivation to a certain soldier will produce results. Just building off of that Thank you. personal attack. Thank you. Hasn't there been a lot of studies done too with millennials and all this that they don't respond as well to what some of us older people would have, you know, what, what our seasons. motivators are, if you will. I heard season as opposed to language. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so knowing, knowing your subordinates and how they react, possibly, you know, those studies. I have a lot of personal examples that come to mind when I think about that. Does anybody have anything that they'd like to share? A personal example of, of something like that? Well, I, uh, I used to manage a restaurant for about 10 years and 
the company I work for, they put me through a lot of classes to talk to exactly about that depth of generation and how to talk to them and stuff like, uh, like the Y generation and all that. You, you know, people want more pat on the back as opposed to the seasonal people that didn't need anything. So they just do they did a good job or vice versa or toy uh, rewards and stuff. So not only, excuse me, not only um, the age differences within in our own ranks, or, you know, but uh, going from military to civilian, you know, that, that level of tact, you know, what might be acceptable in uniform, you know, that bottom line up front, hey, this is what I want you to do, go do it. You try that approach in civilian job, you might get some different looks, right? Like, who's that asshole, right? I've gotten that, I don't know. That's just my personality. Also. But um, yeah, there's a lot of those. There's a pat on the back versus, well, I showed up, did my job. I know I did my job. I don't need any praise for it. No news is good news kind of thing. A lot of difference in perspective. Throughout this presentation, I've showed a couple video clips of maybe some situations where it's not such good leadership, being an Army leader. Right? I have a video clip from Band Brothers that I'd like to show kind of a, a different spin on it, of a good leader. Right? And it'll kind of summarize what we've been talking about here. Right here. Get up there, I can take that attack on him. Thank you. 
Some of the things you took away from that video clip about being a good army leader, given what we talked about with the character presence and intellect in today's class. I think about five minutes to talk amongst yourselves. The very, very And that's where um, Winter said, hey, you, you're getting in charge, get out there and, and lead the company through 
through that town. But like and we said, he probably knew enough about his men to know who he could do that to. Right. Oh, yeah. There's some prior information here, so. Good. Yeah, yeah. So you're talking about winners actually knowing yeah. his men. Knowing who to pick to, to do that job. Yeah, he did it in a split second, but he had prior experience to know that you know, this Joe can do it. Good. Spears, is that his name? What else? You were saying Peterson took the best, but he definitely earned the respect of his troops because of the actions he had. Yeah. Yeah, right when Spears ran out there, said, hey, I'm taking over for you. Screw going around the town, we're going right through it. Did you see the guy's face? When he's like, hell yeah, I'm going to follow this guy, right? It was right away. What else? By example, put himself, put his man ahead of himself, and then he out there. Okay. Put himself out there, you know, take him to the team, so that's what he told him. Say by example, put himself out there. You know, he could have easily got his own private. Good breakfast, but he could have got all his private. All you want, but if you are making stupid decisions or using making stupid calls, or just you know you're gonna run, you're gonna get your entire company killed. That way, if you do, you know how to apply his knowledge and say, okay, we, there's our immediate threat. Take that out first, so we can then move through the rest of it. So it was not only being decisive, but making good decisions. Good. Yeah, the mental agility to be able to. Make a decision, right or wrong, but make a decision and go with it. And knowing the craft well enough, as an infantryman in this case, to know what to do and when to do it. In summary, today we discussed the army leader, the person of character, presence, and intellect. Saw some pretty good video clips on the Army leadership, you know, good and bad, and, and ended on a positive note. Are there any questions? Signing roster? Are there any other questions? Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Thank you. go around and I want you to do after you sign in stick around to help put the tables back in, in row. And I want you to bug out right away. Just you want to. Yeah. 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 Yeah.